Right, this exercise shows us how to use locators. So I've picked a locator from the creativity tool, you know, when you press the pad, and just dropped it down on the screen. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a trigger, plot that on the page, and I'm going to get a basic enemy generator. Now one of my other examples, you'll notice the trigger gets the enemy to appear on top of that pad. It's sometimes a bit ghastly and anyone knows where they're going to appear. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to do my trigger, press the square button on the uh, pad and do a logic, new logic connection when you stop it, step on it. Any player can step on it. I want it to go to the enemy wave generator, or well, the enemy generator in fact, and I want it to create uh, a Pirates of the Caribbean enemy and I'll pick a particular type, uh, do a random one. So whenever I press that, the enemy is going to appear. But the problem is it's going to appear in that box. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to point to one of these locators that I've pointed to. Uh, and I'm going to say, right, on that box there, can I do a new location connector? And can I connect it to that particular box? So in this case, I must go from the enemy generator to the connector. So when I press it, the wave generator walks on and it actually appears to the other side. So the user doesn't actually see it. Now those connectors only show up in design mode, they don't show up within the game. That's how you use locators.